Hey guys! Alright, so today I'm actually going to tell you about a DIY that I do um, for a furry member of my family. So I have two cats and one of them has been with me for a very long time. She was actually a wedding gift because uh, she was born I think the week after I got married. So she is hmm, 15 and a half years old right now. And, you know, older cats do kind of develop some health issues. Uh, so I think it was last year I noticed that she was going in the litter box a lot more. So she was peeing like humongous, humongous piddles, which in cats is a sign of kidney failure, which, of course, older cats, we just, it, it ha it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon in older cats to have uh, kidney issues and kidney failure and um, at that point I was still fairly new to oils I'd been using them for about a year but I was confident that I could do something to help her so I reached out to my friend Missy who has um, an animal desk reference which I did not have and still don't have yet but it's on my list um, anyway so I reached out to her to see if there was anything in there that um, would give me some direction in what I could do to help my my pit, my, my bed kitty. So um, Missy's doll. So uh, since she lives so far away, she photographed the appropriate pages and she sent them to me. And um, through that, I came up with a blend that I have been using on my cat. So uh, the blend I use is four oils. It's this Digize and copaiba or copaiba however you pronounce it i've heard it both ways lemon and ginger mm -hmm. and in the book it had a, a recommended dilution to use so i make it up according to that dilution and i just put it in this nice glass bottle with a dropper cap on it show you my my dropper there all right so what I will do is I will put about four drops of that in my hand or directly on her spine and just kind of pet it into her fur and I do that every two to three days um, at first I had started doing it every day and then as, as I did a little more research I realized that was actually a little more than she needed so I backed off and I do like I said every two to three days and what I have noticed since I have started putting this blend on her is she moves a lot better than she did before. So before, you know, have you ever seen old cats where they have kind of that arthritic walk where it's just, it looks painful. And, you know, she would go to jump on something and she'd hesitate and then you could tell she just changed her mind and decided it wasn't worth it. Um, but since I have been using this blend on her, I notice she moves a lot smoother and easier. She doesn't have that painful old old lady walk anymore. And I notice um, she doesn't hesitate to jump like she did before. So I'll still, she still hops up in my lap. She still hops up in her favorite chair. Um, I don't see her hop up on my bed too much anymore, but that my bed's really, really tall. So it may just be that, you know, she's not comfortable jumping quite that high anymore. But I can tell since we have started using this blend that her quality of life has improved, which is awesome. So uh, that was my DIY share for today. Um, you know, the proportions and stuff I use, like I said, I just got directly out of the book. So uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Pop them in the comments. And thank you so much. I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.